All right, so to convert currency in Google Sheets, it's really easy. You just use the Google Finance function. So you write equals Google Finance. You open the bracket, start a quotation mark. And to have one Canadian in US dollars, you just write currency and a colon and then CAD USD. Put a quotation to close that and then close the bracket as well. So this gives us one Canadian dollar in US dollars. We can do the opposite here. So we just have equals Google Finance open the bracket in quotation and write currency, use a colon and then write the opposite USD CAD, close the quotation and close the bracket. So this is one US dollar in Canadian dollars. And then we can do other currencies as well. So we have equals Google Finance, open the bracket quotation, write currency, write a colon and then USD Great British Pounds like that. And this gives us one US dollar in Great British Pounds. So this is useful if we say we have like a list of something, like some prices, say 1999, uh, 25, 99, and 29, 99. And if we want to convert these to other currencies, like Canadian dollars and Great British pounds, then we can just come in here, write equals, select the, the reference cell and multiply it by the exchange. We do have to lock this cell in place. So we'll just put a dollar sign in front of at least the two, but it doesn't hurt to put it in front of the B as well. And then we can drag this down. So this gives us the Canadian equivalent of the US dollar prices. And then we can do the same thing with uh, Great British Pounds. So this can just be equal to the price in US dollars times the exchange rate with US dollars and Great British Pounds. And then lock the cell in place with the dollar sign. And we can bring that down for the price in British Pounds. If you don't lock it in place, like this, if you forget to put these, then when you drag it down, you're gonna get some errors because here, the purple cell also gets dragged down each time um, the, the cell moves down as well. So we do want that happening over here. This wants to match, but we want the purple cell to stay in place. So what you do is you put in, yeah, you put in these dollar signs, just like here. Um, you at least need the one in front of the three to lock it in row three, but if you were dragging from right to left, then this one would lock it into uh, column B as well. Anyways, we can drag that down, and there you go. So that's basically how you convert currency in Google Sheets and then do something useful with it as well.